When I was in training uh, in Manhattan, the head of uh, my GI program, Dr. Carlitz, he said to me about research, he said, you know, Mark, you're never going to discover the cure for cancer. You're never going to discover the cure for Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. You're just not going to. But our job is every day to add a little piece to the puzzle. That's where research starts. You notice something. You notice something, and then maybe you notice it in five more people, and then ten more people. It all starts with just you notice something in some patient who had some illness, and you wonder, is it idiosyncratic to that person, or is it maybe another piece of that puzzle? And that's why I like research, because to me, research is not necessarily something that's sponsored by the federal government or a pharmaceutical company. Research is every day you're just watching. Watching and observing is the first part of research. Borland Gruber has one of the finest research departments in the world. It's comprised not just of the physicians and the nurses, but also the research staff. Our research team is incredible. They're smart, hardworking, but mostly what they are is they are relentless. I don't think patients in general know what's available for them, uh, what research offers them. Research offers patients an opportunity to not just uh, help other people, but also to help themselves. When they become part of a research project, they're adding to that fund of knowledge, which will help them in, in the end. Not only are their medications supplied to them, but all of their office visits and their lab tests and their procedures, those add up. Other research places see you as a number, as a dot. We don't have any dots. We have a bunch of neighbors who are sick who need some help. I tell patients that um, the good thing about research is that it makes you feel like you're not just passively, uh, you're not passively succumbing to an illness. You're actively fighting it. And you're trying to figure it out along with them.